this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a progress bar, just like you saw in the intro of this video. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see here, I have a video of a lion, and this is a video I got from the stock media page. You can search for, if I click this drop down here, go to partners, you can search for videos using these partners. You have Pexels, you have Pixabay, and then Splash. These are pretty good sources uh, to find uh, sample videos to use to practice uh, when you're editing. Okay. Now, this is the video here. I'll play the video for you. This is a 20 second video. Uh, let me go ahead and make it a little shorter, actually, because this is a little too long. So I'll split that and delete the rest of this. All right. So I want to create a progress bar here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over to stock medium I'm gonna go over to my library and I'm going to use uh, a solid color. So whatever color you want to want your background to be, that's what you're going to use. You can search for these in here. If you go to library right here, you go to gradient. If you want to use that, use solid color. I recommend using solid colors. So for this, I'm going to be using a white color. So you can pick any color you want here. But I select this, click, drag, and drop this on top of my video here. Okay. Now, once you have this, I'm going to go ahead and uh, trim this to match uh, the duration of the video. Go ahead and match the duration of the video itself. All right. So you're going to double click on the video, click on it. It's going to take you to the video settings and you want to go over to the basic video settings. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and trim this video down to where, uh, or scale it down to where it looks like a progress bar. So what I can do here is I'm going to go ahead and, uh, unlock this. Okay. So go ahead and hit that. And I'm going to go ahead and lower the Y axis, go ahead and lower that. So as you can see, this starts to lower itself. So how big do you want this progress bar to be? So for this, I'm going to go ahead and make it maybe, uh, maybe this big here. Okay. Kind of like that. And you can change the position itself. So we're going to go ahead and change uh, the Y position, All right? So let's move it right here. Okay. All right here was just on the bottom of the video. Okay. All right. So how do we get started with this? I'm going to go, to, I'm going to move my playhead to the beginning of the video and I'm going to switch over to animation here. Click switch over to animation and you can apply um, a simple slide right animation. So click on that and double click on it actually to apply to the video. So I'm going to double click. It's going to add two keyframes on the video here. So if I play the video, as you can see, it goes pretty quick and it doesn't last the entire video. So how do you do this? You're going to grab the last keyframe here, the second keyframe, and you want to drag it all the way to the end of the video. Okay. Now let's play this here. Pretty cool stuff here. This is how you can create a uh, progress bar. It's very simple to do. Make sure that, uh, you know, the, the progress bar, uh, solid color is, is, is as long as the video, because if you don't have it as long as the video, it's not going to last the entire video. It might disappear uh, off the screen. So let me know if you guys want to see more advanced ways to do this. There's obviously a lot of ways you could do this. This is the easiest way that I could find uh, in Filmora, but that is pretty much it for this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.